हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू टॉप स्कॉलर्स एज वी नो एयर इज अ मिक्सचर ऑफ गैसेस राइट एंड वी राइटली नो दैट ऑक्सीजन एंड नाइट्रोजन आर द मेन कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट्स ऑफ एयर बट व्हाट अबाउट अदर गैसेस दैट इज व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन टुडेस लेक्चर दैट इज कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट्स ऑफ एयर अदर गैसेस लेट्स नाउ फर्स्ट टॉक अबाउट कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इफ यू लुक एट द कंपोजिशन ऑफ एयर एयर कंसिस्ट्स ऑफ अबाउट 78% ऑफ नाइट्रोजन 21% percent of oxygen and 1% percent of other gases. Now, out of this 1%, percent, the proportion of carbon dioxide that is present in the air is about 0.03 to 0.04%. Percent. However, this percentage of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere increases due to emissions released from industries. As well as the percentage of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere also increases due to automobile exhaust. Now this increase in percentage leads to increase in the temperature but is carbon dioxide useful to us so let us quickly have a look at the uses of carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is necessary for the process of photosynthesis what is photosynthesis yes photosynthesis is the process wherein green plants make use of carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight resulting in the formation of glucose and oxygen gases liberated carbon dioxide is also said to be a greenhouse gas why so this is because carbon dioxide helps to minimize heat loss but how does carbon dioxide do this carbon dioxide reflects heat back to the earth's surface and so it helps in maintaining the earth's temperature Now carbon dioxide in the dissolved state is used by aquatic plants for photosynthesis. Another very important use of carbon dioxide that most of you must be knowing. What is it? You make use of carbon dioxide for extinguishing fires, right? Yes. That means carbon dioxide is also used in fire extinguishers. Now if I ask you a question that does water have any taste? You would probably say that yes, water has some taste. So how does water get this taste This is because due to the presence of salt of carbon dioxide which is responsible for the taste of water Now friends let's move on to the next very important constituent of air that is water vapor Now what is water vapor you would say that when we boil water there is some vapors that are formed right and that is called as water vapor So in simple terms i can say that water vapor is nothing but moisture right Exactly We also hear people saying that today the climate is too humid, right? But what is humidity? Yes, humidity is nothing but the amount of water vapor that is present in air. So that means when we say that the climate is too humid, we actually mean that the amount of water vapor in the air is high, right? This water vapor determines Earth's climatic condition. For example, in summer season, the rate of evaporation is high, right? So what happens is the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere is more. What about rainy season? In rainy season the rate of precipitation is more and so we are able to enjoy the rainy weather, right? Now if I ask you what do you mean by a pleasant weather in terms of water vapor, right? You would say that a pleasant weather means wherein the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere is balanced, right? But what about winter season? In winter season as the temperature is low the water vapor present in the atmosphere freezes and so we are able to enjoy the snow Now water vapor also helps to control the rate of evaporation from the bodies of plants and animals Through plants the rate of evaporation is controlled through transpiration What is transpiration Transpiration is wherein plants lose water in the form of water vapor whereas in animals the rate of evaporation is controlled through the process of respiration water vapor also is essential for the growth and good health of plants animals as well as human beings to learn more about this topic download top scholars app